we're looking at, you know, food sensitive sensitivities that could be affecting the gut. Um, and then how would you even test, you know, the bacterial level and, and things like that in the gut biome itself? Um, you know, how would we look at that and how does that work? Mm -hmm. So there is another test that we can do um, that tests for your overall health microbiome, your digestive function. You know, your gut is home to, you know, trillions and trillions of bacteria. Some scientists even say that you have more gut bacteria than human cells in your body. So it's so important um, to mm -hmm. test for, you know, your microbial balance because it keeps your digestion in check, your immune system in check, and inflammation in check. Um, when your microbiome is out of balance, so meaning that maybe there's not enough good bacteria to keep the bad bacteria at bay, mm -hmm. to, um, and then maybe there's too much um, of the bad bacteria creating inflammation in the gut, it can create food sensitivities, it can create more digestive concerns and more systemic inflammation as well. So mm -hmm. testing for your microbiome helps us um, really have a better understanding of your overall digestive health, if there's any overgrowth of certain bacteria, yeast, fungus, um, is there imbalance happening? Is your, uh, your body able to digest the foods properly? I mean, I've even, I've even heard, um, you know, some scientists say that, you know, different levels of bacteria, if you have too much of one thing and not enough of another, or, you know, good or bad bacteria, and even different types of bacteria in different concentrations, they are linking that back to like illness and disease too. Like they can predict, you know, a certain number of this bacteria will lead to this type of illness. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I find that it's fascinating that the gut can tell us so much about our overall health 